God damn, bro. What the fuck is up? Yo. Such a Freudian vibe in here, dude. I know. I need you to psychoanalyze me. <laughs> dude, you are, your life is a fucking movie, My life is dude. such a movie, Your life is a fucking movie. <laughs> really is. You see that, that phone call? It's crazy. <laughs> Let's yeah, not that's, talk about it. Yeah, that's fucking nuts. Devastating news moments ago. It's time to lay down, dude. Yeah, you got to lay down and relax. I got to lay down and pray. Yeah, dude, you got to pray on that, bro. I told you the bit wouldn't be funny once it started. <laughs> no, it's comfortable. It is very comfortable. I've wanted to do something like this forever where like two people just lay in a dark room with their eyes closed and just uh-huh. like sleep. You know when you're at your boy's house on a sleepover? Before you yeah, go to bed, you it's chat. The funniest. Dude. It's the funniest time. No one gets better. I, I'm never more free than when I'm in a dark room with one of my boys True. about to go to sleep. We can't see each other, but we're close. And I'm and like, you say things, that you, your deepest things. Yeah, exactly. What type of things would you say to me? Usually I would plan out the day. I'd be like, Let's go you down. Plan the day. Up? Like what we're gonna do the next day. Tick me off, dude. I'm Why? not trying to make plans. Well, dude, I'm talking about like we're gonna play Secrets of the Use for like four hours. All right. Then we're gonna walk to Havertown Pizza. Yo. Get personal Zaz. Dude, yeah. I used to plan sick days when I was all like, right. well, that's good. Twelve, it'd be like, all right, we'll wake up, we'll play Secrets of the Use until we beat it. Yes. Then we'll go to Havertown Pizza for lunch. Then we'll watch fucking Urkel. My cousin would be like, yo, that's such oh. a sick fucking idea. Man, that's a good day. I know, man. I wish. How long would you watch Urkel? Just a half hour? How nice was Rugrats in the morning? Did you like Rugrats? Oh, big fan of Rugrats. I was a Rugrats guy. A lot of guys big like Doug. I, li- I like Doug. I did like Doug, but I... I like Doug, but not as close to Rugrats. Nah, Rugrats fucking crushed. That I'm, I'm somewhat of a Stu Pickles, I would say. Yeah? I, a little bit of a wacky inventor, yeah. True. That's what he was. True. I don't know which guy I was in that. Doug's older sister was hot as fuck, though. Angelica? You like that? Yeah, I like that. She's a like a brat, beatnik poet, dude. She was hot. Wait, Roger, wait, wait. Klotz, Roger Klotz fucked her one time. <laughs> wait, I'm getting mixed things up. <clears throat> Doug's older sister is hot. Is that what you said? No, Patty's his girlfriend. I thought you were yes. saying Tommy Pickle's older sister, and I was like, Ew, you talk- <laughs> no, Angelica, Angelica the cousin? Sorry, sorry. <laughs> I was like, damn, you a fucking kid? Cartoon? What was Doug? No, what was Doug's? Yeah, for, I was my bad. That wasn't it. What was no. Doug's uh, sister's name? Pamela? Pamela might have been the crush. You kids don't know this. Yeah, you guys. I was talking to these second. kids the way up here, dude. They had a whole different school. Yeah, experience. they love like Disney. Yeah, channel. what did what did you guys watch growing up? Not Nickelodeon, Disney. <laughs> Shut up, Noah. You watch fucking <laughs> Disney, bro. <laughs> you watch Disney, dude. Noah's telling me a story, dude. What's Can Noah I tell your to? your criminal history, dude? Wait, no- we hired a criminal. Noah's a vandal. We had to have a background check. He's on these a fucking guys. vandal. What is he spray paint? He spray painted. He's a graffiti guy. He graffitied in North Philadelphia, <laughs> dude. In North Philadelphia? Yeah, he, well, he was at Temple. What were you tagging? Dude, he, he tagged a fucking. Uh, you guys don't have a producer's mic, do you? Jesus Christ. No, yeah, it's fucking. He, so I'll, I'll tell you. I, I He told me the whole story. It's actually very funny. So he him and his buddies, dude, were you, they were drinking, right? You guys drinking? No. So, okay, so you didn't lie. Okay. Because his mom did ask if he was drinking. He said, no, I was making sure you weren't lying to your mom. Yeah. So they were sober. He Noah spray painted a picture of a horse with a humongous dick, <laughs> <laughs> and the cops came. What busted him? And then he wrote "fuck" above the horse, so it was a horse with a big dick with "fuck" written above it. Whoa, dude! It was a pretty- <laughs> <laughs> so then he it got busted, funny. and he had to get a lawyer, and he had to send a pic. The lawyer was like, "Send me a pic of the thing." So he had to send a picture of the no. horse with a big ass dick to the lawyer. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa! Yeah, man. Said it's still there to this day. Really? It is. How long ago was this? It was like two years ago. He's a baby. They gotta clean this up. He should go paint over. You that. should have to go paint it. I or st- give it a reasonable paint it and give it like a normal cock. True. Well, it's a horse. It's a horse. I know, but give it a normal True, horse. True, and it's cock. big even for a horse. I saw he showed me a picture of it. Really? He had a picture on his face. He had the picture he had to send a lawyer. <laughs> Dude, keep being a lawyer and getting that must be so fucking. Yeah, funny. that was probably hilarious. Just being like, All right, let me send this to uh 
the appropriate yeah, parties. Yeah, who was your lawyer? What's his name? So we can all email him pictures of cocks. <laughs> <laughs> no, don't give him his name. His name's yeah. Ezra? Ed. Ed. Sorry, I guess the most Jewish name. Yeah, I that was pretty nice. Well, we figured out why that is. Why Jews are lawyers? Yeah. Why? Because I looked up the Jewish religion. It's nothing but like wild oh, yeah, fucking yeah, yeah. rules. Yeah. It's just rules upon rules upon rules. And it's like, that's the only way you can navigate them is by finding the loopholes. And you got to be the Lincoln lawyer. All day long, your mom's like, we can't turn lights on. You just got to hit the Lincoln and be like, I got to <laughs> fucking find a way around this. <laughs> yeah. What were you going to tell me? You were going to give me more devastating oh, dude. news? Yeah. Well, it might be nothing. It might be nothing. So I'm, remember I was telling you, I don't know if you, you might have been kind of a, uh, I don't know if I even drunk? explained this right. I don't think you're drunk, but I was telling you <laughs> that I was getting this thing. It's not a brain zap, oh, but it's like, I'll get a yeah. weird smell. And then I get like, it's like a, I was trying to, it's like, it's like a panic attack condensed into like one second where you just go Whoa, and it just goes away. So I'm like, what the fuck? And I'm, it, uh, but the cool thing is, well, kind of stinks. Is it like brain cancer? I don't know, but it only, ha- I don't think so. <laughs> but it only happened, primarily only happened when I was like really stoned. So oh, I was okay. like, so I, I dug in, I did research after this week. It happened when I was up here the other time. And I'm like, what the fuck? So I went home and I researched, dude, <laughs> I went home and fi- I, I couldn't pin this thing down. I've been Googling it for months. So I pin it down, dude. Temporal lobe seizures. My brain. Activity. Yeah, but you Googled it. Oh, no. I went to the doctor. Oh, no. Went to the doctor. I mean, obviously I'm house. And the lady's like, I looked at this, I researched it. And I was like. I think it's temporal lobe seizures. She's like, yeah. I was like, yeah. Wow. But I told her, I'm like, here's the secret. My dirty secret. It only happens if I'm smoking weed. And she was like, well. Now you have to stop smoking What are you going to do with that? And I was like, I'll cut it down and I'll you know, work my way back up. But I looked it up. <laughs> work my way back up. <laughs> Can't, apparently, so CBD <laughs> inhibits seizures. But THC in ten, also inhibits seizures, but in 10% of people. Uh, can bring about slightly epileptic like brain patterns. So then I looked it up, dude. I have an epileptic personality. Physi- religious zeal, <laughs> writers. My whole life is just epilepsy, dude. You can boil it down. My brain just fucked up. <laughs> yeah. But no, I think I'm fine. I got to go to a neurologist, but I'm good. Unless I have like some sort of like acorn in my brain. That is cool that you have seizures. It's kind of sick. They're not it even is. seizures. They're yeah. very mild. But hope it'll develop. Hopefully, you get like a wicked seizure one time. Like a grand mal. I'm working yeah. my way up. And I have then, like real pussy versions. Then you can have like a cane and be like a true professor. For sure. Yeah. I'll be. It'll be. I'll be like a young Reverend Martin Luther, not the king. The OG. <laughs> not the king. The OG was just epileptic fits, dude. Yeah, I didn't he was know just that. thrown into fit. A lot of a lot of uh, you know, comes to my territory. A lot of mystics are, are just epileptic. <laughs> <laughs> you call it epileptic. <laughs> I don't even know how to say it, but yeah, dude, fucking, <laughs> but I told the lady, I'm like, it doesn't happen if I'm not smoking weed and, and, and I have to also be stressed while I'm smoking, like not even smoking edibles. If I get stressed on an edible, I might seize up. Really? It's just a weird, I get a weird smell out of nowhere. It's like a chemical smell. Damn. And I just go, <gasps> and I just like sit there like, <clears throat> <laughs> <laughs> it happened to me on the dance floor. I just had a seizure. When I was, when I was on the wedding. When I was at the wedding and you I was dancing season? it up, I was on the People dance floor. People would have thought you were hitting the sizzling bacon. They couldn't tell, dude. At if one you point, laid on the ground and fucking people would be like, dude, I'm telling these you. moves are out of this world. <laughs> <laughs> the, they, they form a circle. <laughs> it's just my brain, dude. The, the, it's like the the electrical. I have very strange electrical electrical activity. I can't talk to you. It's my fucking epilepsy. My epilepsy journey is crazy, dude. That's I, I saw a dude, girl. Dude, this is my se- epilepsy Have you journey. seen a seizure? Uh, yeah, I saw. I've seen a couple of people have seizures, and it's fucking nuts. But you can have different. There's different versions of it. That's yeah. that's called a grand mal or something. I'm having like baby, very baby versions where it's just occurring in my brain. My body's not even. I'm not even going like. My brain just goes. I just go, huh, oh. <laughs> and I stop and go. Oh, I hope that's nothing. Oh yeah. I finally found it on Google. I'm like, dude. So yeah, the doc was like, it's crazy when you find your diagnosis on Google. That's how I was with sleep paralysis. Yeah. What if I got that now, dude? If I those Dude, I had pads. a little bit of SP this morning. Really? Yeah, man. I don't get it like that. I only got it like I got woken two or up three times. See if I got woken up. I got woken up in the middle of the night to uh get Maya. Dude, I had sleep paralysis, lucid dreams of eating pussy last night. Yo. Not Brad. It was to the point where I thought Brittany had come in on me going like because I was eating pussy from the bottom. So really? I was, and I was just going. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> I woke up just like, Ugh. you can move your tongue during sleep paralysis. That's what I, that was the whole question because I, it's I'm kind of lucid. So when I came out of it, I was like, was I doing that? Yeah. But I was like, yeah, hopefully not. I did was drugs it, this weekend. Did drugs? Yeah. Party time? Not, not cocaine. Nice. But so just awesome drugs then. Yeah. I did Molly. Nice. I shouldn't have done that. What? How was it? Or I'll, I'll ask. How, how was, was it? it first? It yeah. was an awesome and incredible experience. Nice. And I continue to really enjoy it. Nice. But. What was the day after? The day after was fine. I just stayed up too late. I've been ah, staying up too late. Yeah. The, this week has been, uh, it's been party time. I mean, my life's a movie. Dude, bro. you got to get into, you got to get fully into like Molly kind of Burning Man culture. I can't. There's I, there's I parties it. afterwards. You can go to like a day after recovery party where like you'll just like get very like I don't you, know. you'll just massage other people who are on Molly and get massaged. The hangover is not as bad as, as alcohol as alcohol and cocaine. Yeah, for sure. The yeah. hangover is like, and what's nice about it is, anytime I do it, I definitely stop drinking. Like I just take it and drink water, and I'm like, this is nice. Not bad. And I went to a bar, dude, Richmond, Virginia. Is where I was this weekend. It's oh, filled. You had those things on you. Antifa, bro. So you were Molly on Antifa? I ran I took some Molly, went to this one bar. It was so nice. It was like an English pub. Yeah. It was beautiful. There was fucking Christmas lights everywhere. That's pretty And the tight. Molly was just hitting, like right when I got in there and I was like, Damn. This is so nice. This is great. I'm just gonna sit here, drink water. Nice. And then uh Antifa bartenders hate me. What the fuck? What's their It was basically it, it's like fish town fucking waiters and shit. In the south? They're so mad. They're well, so yeah, mad. This is the me. worst place to be a hipster in the south. They're so, dude. I don't know what it is about bartenders that are like young, dude bartenders that like think they're tough. Yeah, it, nothing bothers me more. Yeah, it's it's like, dude, be a bartender. Yeah, you get be a lot nice. of bartenders with barista energy. Yeah, for it's sure. Kinda, it kind of stinks, dude. You, you can see their shitty sleeve tattoos. I was just like, all right, these guys. But I was nice to them. They're all, they all look like the lead singer of Incubus. Yeah. And they just fucking tend bar. And they're just mean. And they're like, what's up, dude? They, another guy from the industry came in. He was bartender in somewhere <sighs> else. He, he hated me so much that he left. He was that angry at me. What? And I was like, what the fuck's that guy's You're problem? You're chilling what's on fucking I was on Molly. Dude. And I was like, dude, you guys are great. This is awesome. And they were like. <sighs> and they were like, oh, yeah? Okay. Like, what's going on? Why are you in town? This is where they got mad. Because I said I was doing comedy in Richmond, and they're yeah. like, how is it? Like, real fucking dismissive of yeah. everything I said. They're like, oh, okay. Ugh. And I was like, uh, <laughs> the crowds are pretty uptight here. I was like, everybody's kind of- I was laughing thinking about you on Molly as battling bartenders. I like, hated these guys. Hold on a second, guys. <laughs> yeah, I was like, fellas, let's, I touched the one guy's arm, <laughs> and that's when he left. <laughs> that's when he left. I touched his arm, and I was like, I'm so sorry I touched you, dude. <laughs> and he was like- <sighs> And he, he was like was he was problem? like one of the, he was like a fat short fat tough guy. Oh no, he was, he was short, fat jacked. He was a fat. Was he wearing a tight t shirt? He he was, and it was a bar from another. He was at a different bar. <sighs> Came in, he started complaining about the industry to the other guy. And I, I was even trying. I was trying to be very nice. I was like, "Is this your bar?" To the guy, he was like, "I'm a manager." Oh, I was just like, it's cool. It's really cool. Like it's great. And he was like, like I couldn't believe. It. Yeah, dude, I'm telling you, somebody tricked people who work in the restaurants into thinking they're like cool and like rock stars. Yeah, why should the, why would they be mean to a customer? Cause they they hate their jobs. They're, they're such drug addicts, brats, dude. But this is what they got mad at. They're drug addicts. Yeah, fucking dumb druggies. I was on Molly having hoops, fun. For, yeah, jumping through hoops for tips, dude. True. I'm telling you, nobody likes this, but I'm fully into defunding waits waiters. I want to defund wait staffs. Bring back slaves. Or just defund them, man, and bring them down a notch. You know what I'm saying? Yes. I mean, we'll see. I mean, I'll keep an open mind on your plan, but <laughs> <laughs> not as they're, they're too, they're getting paid too much for the job they're doing and it yeah. creates, they don't feel right about it on a, on some level. So they turn to drugs and they turn to bad attitudes. They're mean, dude. I'm telling you because they know. I don't know what they're mean about. They love the, the CDC too. Oh, dude. They, they're well, so mean. They're rebels that also are like, dude, better fucking be a Democrat. That that was a very successful psyop campaign. Dude, 10 years ago, those guys would have been standing and occupying Wall Street. And yeah. now they're like, don't say shit about pharmaceutical companies. <laughs> they got fucked, man. But they got fully psyop. This is where they turned on me. So they, well, they were already After being, the touch. They, no, it was before the touch. This moment. Where was contact? He was with me. All right. He was contact was by yes. at the helm. Oh, contact was with me, not on Molly. <laughs> nice. <laughs> and, uh, 
So he was jubilant as a, he was just he naturally was, jubilant. Yeah. He was so just radiating positivity. Me and him, no, we were both being very positive. <laughs> nice, that was nice. the it was Saturday night. It was the one good show we had. Because nice. Thursday and Friday we we ate it. You told me you had some pot bellied hipsters, dude. The pot bellied hipsters, the anti fa hipsters, they're, they're, they're so all, mean, dude, dude. They gotta go to the doctor, dude. There's I don't know what their they problem do their physical. is. They all have pot bellies. Yeah, and they're jerks about it. They would be able to stop fascists better if they got into somewhat of decent shape. They yeah. don't have to, you know, they don't have to be like, you know, ripping out 130 push ups a day with their cousins like me, but <laughs> just somewhat of decent You guys loose. are the fascists training. You yeah, dude. I'm about, about to bellies. fucking knock them in the pot belly. <laughs> Hold they're, on. So this is ahead. where it turns. <laughs> So I, I he was asking about how it went. I was like, the crowds are a little fucking like they're like kind of sensitive because of everything that happened here. Oh, and they just and fucking he was. They were like, "Steam, what do you mean, boy?" They didn't even ask what I meant by that. They just were like, from then on, they were fuming at me. Really? Yeah, they were definitely part of the resistance. The resistance. You think they were leaving the industry? Definitely. And putting on like one hundred percent. Also, it was a soccer bar. My theory continues Dude, to hold up. I saw the grommet. If you thing like too. MLS. You are Antifa. Yeah. If you're an MLS, if you're a white MLS fan, the lads are allowed to like True. it. True. And not, uh, the lads aren't Antifa, first of all. No, they're not. Yeah. They're chilling. They're yeah, working. They're working. They, they hard, can't, so. they, they don't have time to pretend that there's a fascist revolt. <laughs> they have no time to make believe. What's uh, what's the Sixers guy, too? Wallace or something? Gromit? The dog? No, what's, yeah, what's that guy's name? The Sixers? Dude, Wallace or Gromit? <laughs> what do you mean? The, the Sixers logo, the, the mascot. Ben Franklin? So, dude, I have, it's my epilepsy journey, dude. I, can't I know, I know, I know. It's the fucking, it, uh, it's the dude. The blue dog. You're talking about the, the blue dog. The orange thing from the Sixers, dude. Gritty, the, the, my flyers, my Yes, flyers. yes, dude, Gritty. Come on, I have epilepsy. Come Wallace on. or Gromit. <laughs> yeah, Gritty, that's what it was. Yes. I saw I saw some Antifa. Like, they love Gritty. Well, they were praising like teachers at a school near my house. They, they hung banners to be like, you guys are heroes. All the shit, and then there was a gritty drawing just near it. Like, God, yeah, dude, they fucking they're they're gonna rise up the nurses and the teachers, dude. <laughs> they're gonna join the ranks. But yeah, Richmond had because Richmond's the capital of the Confederacy, so there's yeah statues everywhere to Confederate generals. Yeah, and like a giant Robert E. Lee memorial mm -hmm. and a monument, and it ticks them off, and they got ticked off about it, and yeah. they all spray painted it and like spray painted like blm and george floyd all yeah. over it and uh but they didn't get the horse at the top which is robert e lee so the monument just kind of looks like he's riding above everything now it kind of looks like he's just totally, did you read that in an article or did you uh now it looks like he's just trampling over it <laughs> which is which is pretty funny and then they put a i said i said this part on stage then they put Fuck. a basketball hoop at the bottom of it and i was like who designed this robert e lee <laughs> Why was he like, yeah, put a basketball hoop down there so they can fuck. He just sits there all day. And he's up on his horse above it all, dude. They couldn't get up to the horse. They couldn't People get up. hooping Robert. hard as hell, though. Probably. I'd be hooping hard, dude. Yeah. If I saw Lee looking down on me, I'd fucking. You'd have, yeah, for the whites. Hooping hard, dude. swat a black dude in front of the Robert E. Lee Memorial. <laughs> just get punched immediately. If you dunked on a black dude in front of the Robert E. Lee Memorial. Did you ever Lee play Memorial? pickup basketball? Like, with that should be boys? an NBA streak level with robert e. in lee in front of the robert e. lee memorial but sean bradley sean it's, bradley you have to play with sean bradley <laughs> did you ever play like against like in pickup basketball with like your boys versus like just black dudes yeah all the time we played down the beach and won one time and it was it was a fucking you and me took on black kids at one dude they were 12 who cares we true, beat the hell true. Out we beat them, them up <laughs> damn imagine we beat them in front of the statue dude <laughs> he would have he might have come to life you think he would have fucking robert e. lee might have <laughs> Yeah, with Traveler. That was his horse. He's like, damn, you guys were killing it in the paint. Yes. Your son, your fundamentals are sound. No I do boat. declare. <laughs> None of that showboats. Yeah, no showboat. Great screen. <laughs> you guys really boxed out well. Zone defense on two on two. Excellent. <laughs> you fell down. <laughs> That's okay. Uh, yeah, that was, but the crowds, so Thursday and Friday, it's a new club. Mm -hmm. It's a good club. They're yeah. very nice. And, uh, but I didn't know they were doing menus and ordering through their phones. Yeah. So, chili every, style. so everybody in the fucking room is just looking at their phones throughout. So, what are they doing with wait I didn't know waitresses? That the, yeah. They just come bring the food. I didn't know nice. what was happening. Mm -hmm. So, I literally just thought everyone was on their phone the whole time. Yeah. So, I was like, dude, get off your fucking phones. And, and then they would try to talk. And I'd be like, shut up. Just put it away. <laughs> everybody kept everybody kept trying to be like, no, we're ordering. And I was like, dude, shut the fuck up. Damn. And then uh, 
So yeah, that was Thursday and Friday, and that was terrible shows. Yeah. And then we got the rundown on all the BLM stuff that happened. Yeah. And why everybody was so fucking uptight about everything. Because while I was up there, I was like, are you guys mad that I'm being conservative or mad that I'm being too liberal? Yeah. Like, I can't figure like, out I'll what, change it. Tell me. what you're mad at. Yeah, yeah. I'll be whatever you need I'll me to be, I'll lean to whatever guys. side you want, yeah. Let me be a fucking Nazi right now, dude? <laughs> if it makes you guys laugh, I'll fucking be a Nazi right now, dude. <laughs> <laughs> you should start doing stand-up. You should start laying down, down doing stand-up. I might lay down for stand-up for the dude, rest of my life. that would be fucking... <laughs> A lot of guys are afraid to just bring a couch on stage and lay down. I mean, dude, it, it would trump sitting on the stool. And kicking people out would be so sick. Just be like, get them out. Yeah. <laughs> Take them out and then fall asleep for like 20 minutes. <laughs> then just you'd, have to get a, you'd have to get beers with like a long straw. And just, <laughs> just the beer hat. One of the hats. Just lay here. Yes, dude. That'd be pretty tight. I actually... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I actually planned on uh, sitting up as soon as the podcast started, but things are going pretty you're well. You're comfy, dude. <laughs> things are going pretty well. Yeah, you're comfy. I think there's going to be some negative comments, most likely about my physique and the fact that I need to lay down to do a podcast. These guys got to <laughs> knock that off, man. Yeah, what the hell? They keep body shaming people for. I don't understand what, why they're so mean. Why they love body shaming. They could just, I mean, they could just pump us <laughs> up and pump each other up in the process. Yeah, just be nice, dude. It's crazy. What the hell? I don't understand, man. I don't understand it. <laughs> Oh, man. But, but yeah, yeah it's, it's hard. It's hard when you're in your young 20s. I dude. did fall and did drugs. Back on man. no drugs. I, I would say, though. I'm allowed to have a little fun, dude. You can have some fun. Got a little bit That's of fun. That's what my dad says. You got to abuse something, man. Yeah. And mine is you drugs. You got to abuse something. <laughs> mine is drugs. This is coffee and, and sweets. <laughs> hard on the sweets. But yeah, I mean, it could have been worse, man. You could have. Uh, that would Imagine if you were doing coke and you hit that bar and you were like, fuck's your guy's problem? Oh, yeah. It would have yeah, been a yeah. total battle. Yeah, it would have been terrible. Been a total battle. This, yeah, I was as nice as literally I could possibly be. Yeah, I was like, "You guys are great, man. This is great." I can't believe and they, they, shun- like, they shunned you. I was like, are "These guys mad at me?" They shunned you. Yeah, they were mad. That's that's a hate crime, brother. True. You got shunned. Shunning. You got shunned. Hmm. I'm gonna have to take a. Is yeah. there a hotline? There should be a hotline. You should call a hotline for, for white shunned. guys that got shunned. They got shunned by other pot be belly. Mean again. Like, was he? Did he have a pot belly? Yeah, he had a pot belly. <laughs> yeah. Did he have really pussy, skinny arms, and somehow had also had a they pot were belly? So mean. Dude. Did all of his calories seem to skip his arms and go to his belly? <laughs> 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 I don't understand why they're like. There's there's several of those because their lives are fucked up, dude. They're completely co opted by the system that they purport to be attacking, and they're totally obedient slaves to big pharma, the government. Their lives are a fucking lie, dude. And True. they just fucking crushed. They could tell I was living in the truth. They knew it, dude. You they came in there it. just waving the blazing it was sword just of truth. Bright dude. light when I watched <laughs> dude. Just... You're like the guy from Game of Thrones, fucking who just the eye patch and the sword, the <laughs> fiery sword. That was yeah, bullshit. Like, the, the statues are cool. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just saying history is important. <laughs> yeah, their their uh, state capital is the old Confederate capital. Really? Yeah. As soon as I saw it, I was like, oh, shit, that's the Confederate capital. So you knew it. I saw it from looking at it. It was pretty sick. That's pretty tight. And I was, and then when I was on stage, I was like, oh, you guys got a cool uh, capital. That never used to be anything else, did it? And they were all like. <laughs> they were all sour pussy. They were so fucking sad. Dude. I mean, dude, imagine if you're trying to be woke in the fucking heart of the Confederacy. In, in Richmond. <laughs> yeah. The capital of the You come out every day and you're like, and you look up and see Lee just fucking. <laughs> yeah, there's Lee. They had a statue of Stonewall like outside of the capital. That got knocked over? Uh, it may have, but they might have moved it to in front of the, I think it's just in front of the Capitol. Really? Ironically enough, it's like 30 yards away from like a civil rights monument. Well, yeah, that's probably, it's like a school zone. You yeah. can't have, you got to keep like at least 30, yeah, 30 yeah, yeah, yards yeah. You got to so. keep one around it to be like, no, we're cool. <laughs> we do still like Stonewall. It, it is a crazy fucking problem to have. I'm just being like, I'm going to go to Greece. I'm going to try to find any of like the gods. Yeah. That were problematic and be like, take this down, dude. Please remove this. Dionysus. Yes. W- making women eat babies and shit. Dionysus did that? Dude, when Dionysus came to town. he was just town, partying, dude. Well, he would, too. There was a lot to Dionysus. Tell when, me about it. When Dionysus, he would come to town. He was just every, he was crazy, dude. He was, he was just total wildness. So yeah, it was totally yeah. like, he was imbibing in the drinking and stuff, but he was so wild and fucking like chaotic that when girls saw him, they'd freak the fuck out. And sometimes they'd even eat their babies. They'd freak out like they got so wet. Kind of, dude. He would come to town. He was like a he was like a dude who would come to town and just like 
he was total chaos and disorder. People be working, people be industrious, and he'd be like, yo, let's fucking drink wine and go fucking nuts. And girls would just be like, ah. And then they'd munch up their baby. Yeah, if you can't fucking party with Dionysus, if you have a baby, you gotta munch it. Yeah, you gotta like, oh, fuck, I can't get a babysitter. Yeah. It's <laughs> <laughs> and I'm hungry. You munch your baby and fucking go party with Dionysus. Would you eat your daughter to go hang out with Dionysus? To spring break? To spring break? It depends. People it do that. It's a pretty reasonable... Yeah, the, the yeah. myth makes perfect sense. Yeah, man. Like People definitely are like, no, I still have to party. I can't. I don't yeah. want to raise this child. Yeah, you, you can totally have a kid. You have to fully commit to being like, I'm going to give this thing the best life possible. Or you go, it'll be fine. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you yeah, Just yeah. fuck your kid up. Oh, but yeah, man. No, you can... Uh, would I munch her and go to spring break? You're talking Daytona. Are we talking, talking Panama fucking City, Cozumel, bro. Panama City. Yeah, Panama. Bam, Am I grinding? Bam, bam, bam. Am I grinding? Yes, you're gonna be able to grind, and you're probably gonna have. You're gonna kiss and have one sex the whole th- for the week. Kiss and have one sex, and you get one sex. That's tough, and it's bad, and she's gross, munch. and her butt smells. I might want you what? You're gonna have sex with her she's from behind, be and her butt's gonna smell, and you're gonna smell. She's gonna be sweaty, and it's like emanating yeah. alcohol. I have but alcohol it'll be, coming. You're gonna like it. But I munch. You like the stink, don't you? Depends what kind you of stink. You seem like is. a bit of a dog. Depends what kind of stink. If it's like a musky butt stink. Yeah, if it's like a hard work kind of smell, I'm into it. If it's like a <laughs> BV, like like what is it? Bacterial vaginosis. Oh. I'm not with the fish smell. You don't like that. Uh-uh. That smell. And it's not even like a conscious choice. It's just I just like biologically go, ah. My body knew that was the wrong one. If it's just a musk, I'm like. Okay. Yeah. Okay. You can go let's in. Pack, let's pack these walls out, dude. Let's get it stanking in here. <laughs> get it smelling like the pussy, dude. <laughs> Dick booty and pussy, dude. What do you like better, the booty or the pussy? The pussy, bro. The pussy. The pussy? All day long, the pussy. Yeah, the pussy's so good. I'm not dude. into that, dude. I'm not into that. Anal- the pussy's so good. Yo, were you guys fucking knocking off? Yeah, Being serious shut up here. over there. Being serious The pussy, here, when you, as soon as the first time you slide into the pussy. You remember the first time you slid into some pussy? Yes. Were you wearing a condom or no? No. Lucky duck. I did not wear condoms, bro. Do you think I did I'm it fucking... first. I never did, yeah. I remember the first time I did without it and was like, what? Yeah. It You're was. Like, if I did it first without one, I don't know if I'd have been able to. The first time I slid into the pussy, I. Unprotected. Unprotected, and I also chickened out. What? Yeah, I was like, I don't know if I want to do this. What? Yeah. Yeah. What happened? I don't know what happened, dude. I got cold dick. I got cold feet on that one. You tasted. I got into went, the pussy. How? Yeah. How is it even possible? I don't know. I think I was in like eighth grade. Damn. It was scary, dude. It is scary. No, it is scary. I was frightened. I, w- I was protected. And then I had, then the same girl like a week later, we I got into the pussy. In the yeah, tent, in the pussy. Into a, in a tent. So technically I lost my virginity kind of before that. Like I'd a have, slight I'd have virginity loose. Yeah, what happened I was with yours? too drunk. Really? I was rock fucking hard, dude. I was 17. And you just old. couldn't jizz? No, dude. I fucking... I took a pee. I had a rock hard boner. I was making out. I was fucking... Yeah. Fingering. Not in Let it know what was coming. Yeah, like, what's up? I just yeah. Googled the clitoris. I know what it is now. Let's go. Mm. So I'm pressing on that thing. I'm pushing that button, dude. I'm trying to get the <laughs> elevator to ground floor, dude. It's fucking like, let's go. Yes. And... uh I had a rock... Fu- I had a rager, dude. I drank like 16 Bud Lights. My parents were out of town. Whoa. I was fucked up. That's what I did last night, dude. Did you? Yes. Yeah, I was partying hard as I could. That's how you party. Then I peed. Boner was gone. I had a pee boner. So I like mashed like half hard bird on like a hiking trail. We went down to the trail. You were on a trail outside? I was outside. We both lost our virginity outside. Sick. And we both had a half. I half lost it on the trail. Yes. And then I was just like, you know, mashing a fucking like half hard bird with a condom on. Yeah. And it was like, I, I was like, I give up. I tapped. And then uh, the second time, I I went to some lady's house and we had sex. And I, I remember I timed myself. You timed your sex. Well, I didn't like time it, but I like definitely like. Well, yeah, I guess I did time it. I looked at the clock before yeah, I started. Yeah, yeah, yeah. After I was like seven minutes, not bad. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Every single time after that, I was like two minutes, thirty seconds. <laughs> That's pretty good. I was like out of my body. Two the first minutes time is I, great. I mean, dude, I, you're talking to someone. I got seven minutes my first time. True. So I was like, dude, I'm gonna probably last like half an hour pretty soon. Dude, it was only because I was like, like you were saying, I was so shook. I was like out of my body. Yeah, I was scared, dude. I like made myself 
People don't understand huh. how scary the pussy is. After I got used to it, dude, I would just be like, oh, I'm so sorry. I could. It, it was crazy. Dude, if I can lay down on every podcast. Yeah, dude. You can. Big. For the audio listeners, I'm pretty fucking chill right now. They can tell you're laying. You can hear from someone's voice they're laying down. My mom gets me every time. Really? Are you oh. in bed? And I'm like. Bruh. Oh, that's the worst. Also, too, my mom, uh, she didn't call me fat this summer. Did not call she you fat. Complimented my body. Oh yeah, whose summer was it? Was it, oh Billy got shredded. Billy ended up getting like skinny. Is he skinny? Have you seen Bill? I didn't see he was shredded. He looks handsome as hell. He does look dude. handsome. Bill Bill looks good. He lost some weight. Yeah, he lost weight. Tony looks... man, you got my mom just teases, dude. Your mom teases you guys. No, mommy teases, dude. She calls my jeans gay. Calls what? me paunchy. Yeah, I, dude. I one time I bent down to pick something up, and I, I was like, "Moms, dude, huh?" True. <laughs> 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 Sorry, bro. It's just part of this epilepsy journey I have right now. I know. I well, was, it does make sense that you're epileptic. Yeah. I have an epileptic personality. What else would you say goes into that? Like it's just you're a writer, thi- you're it's creative. It's just two things. No, it's just uh, they say people are obsessed with writing and they they have like very strong, like almost delusional religious stuff. I'm like, check. No, Although, you don't even go to church. Yeah, dude, I have, a fucking, I, have a, I have a ridiculously super spiritual life, dude. No, you don't. Yes, I do. Like a female's level of spirituality. No, 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 no. You're, no, you're no, not no, religious. No. Deeply religious. You're deeply religious. I'm more religious? Eastern religion. Yeah. What Western Eastern religions religion? are for what kids. What Eastern religion? Western re- Hinduism, bro. You're more Hindu? The Vendantas, give me some, dude. Yeah, give me some tenets of Hinduism. I mean, okay. <laughs> you talking about Brahmin? Are you talking Brahmin? No, no. Give me the tenets. Tell me what are, what are we talking here? Well, it's hard because Hinduism's broken between so many different sects. Okay. But really the whole thing is it's there's not like it's an impersonal creator at the very top of it. That's yeah. Brahmin, dude. And it's not a, it's not a big thing. It's scientific. It's just the universe is inseparable. If you take all of the life force of every single being and connect it with the entire universe as a whole, that's Brahmin, dude. It's just an ideal. It's an ideal you can meditate toward and, you know, Connect yourself to meditate towards that we're all connected. We are. It's it's. I mean, all no, I was, the, that, I was asking that. Yeah, the planets. It's all. It's a you know. It's a single thing. We are a, we are a one consciousness experiencing itself as each other. Mm. And, you know, that's just my beliefs. I'm intensely. It's just my epilepsy, dude. I, I hate that you fucking. <laughs> I'm gonna fucking have a fit, dude. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, man. It's you know. People say. Uh, you know. What do they say? bunch of things that were like a bunch of things that are changing where we're just change that thing in bro come on yeah come on dude that's what i always say come on man you know that the word but, things changing dude if you think about it so you know cuz you're a materialist you're a mechanistic materialist yeah <laughs> no, that bothers you <laughs> <laughs> i don't care <laughs> but you're a materialist so yes. you would say that our I'm, consciousness I'm, a, I'm i'm missouri bro you better show me your consciousness i'm the show me state, so you would dude. say that consciousness just emanates off of the tissue and it's just like a, just a fluke that happens to come off off of our like mechanical brain processes. Yes. <laughs> yes. So. Yes. So if we're just then just matter and tissues, and we produce consciousness, yes. then so does other, you know, fundamental elements that we are, you know, the same thing as. So the universe in that level would probably be in that vein is also conscious. This is not con. This mirror is not conscious. Not itself. But I'm saying if, if you're if we're just, you know, again, as a materialist, if we're just material elements, you know, we're, we're water, we're this, we're that, and we somehow produce consciousness, which is just a fluke. It's nothing serious, just trapped in our brains. It doesn't, it's not like a, a thing, like a magnetic force that we somehow just experienced, you know. What do you mean? So like, do you think it is if, a magnetic if it's just a, force? If, if, yeah, no, it could be an external thing that we're picking up on. Yeah. A magnet can't comprehend magnetism, but it's still like attracted yeah. to it you know consciousness might be a field i don't know i mean you're asking me and if i'm h- hanging out with my hindu friends we'd say yeah it definitely is you did have some hindu friends in college didn't i you? did dude <laughs> i didn't know dude i look at indian dudes and all now yeah i'm like this is the shit you guys are brought up on this fucking rules yeah they got a good one it's fucking it's so sick dude yeah it's so sick so that's your third eye picking up on that is there a consciousness no man that dude third eye when you're getting into right and wrong knowledge drugs. that's wrong knowledge and that's dude that's where i'm with you. you you don't believe in anything you can't see or reason out or have a reliable witness yeah there is the whole pantheon of like all those things but that's just you know that's just a that's mythology bro what do you think george w bush is think he's a materialist or do you think he's a hindu <sighs> What is George Satanist? I'm whatever Dick Cheney is. Which, Satanist. Which oh, one's he's a Satanist. He? Satanist. Do you, do you hear my question though? If, if we're just then biological material producing the fluke of consciousness, 
then so are other things too. We just, we wouldn't know. Like an entire galaxy could be conscious then. Because it has, what is what do our brains run on? Water, tissue, electricity. You got water in the cosmos. You have like, you have plenty of fucking electricity. Yeah. So why could, those things are, might be conscious too. So that would, you know, that's. What if there's no water? There is. On a planet. I mean, that wouldn't, that wouldn't be then part that of that. So that would be think. a different node. He doesn't get to think? It's not the planet. It's the so whole Pluto doesn't thing. get to talk? It might, dude. I don't All know. Right. All I'm saying is I don't know. I All don't right. know. I don't know if they don't, if they're talking. I don't know either, dude. Do you think rocks are talking when we're not looking? The crystals are self-organizing structures, but they don't, they don't talk. Do you think they could they, chat? They grow themselves, yes. What if they wanted to chat a little, communicate with each other? They might. Like plants, trees talk. Plants do. Plants, yeah. plants talk, trees yeah, talk. Yeah, I saw that happening. Yeah, you know what's going on. I know all about it, dude. Yeah, dude. Secret life of plants. But I'm, you got to show me. Dude, I, look, again, I don't know for sure, but that's my theory right now. I'd love to debate Sam Harris. I would murder Sam him. Sam Harris dude. would butt fuck you. Dude, I, there's no, I can't think of a, if consciousness is just something emanating off of just purely physical characteristics, then why wouldn't Wait, I think you, you need to define consciousness the best, Aha, the nobody best can. you can. Aha. Well, the best you can. Nobody can yet. What would your what's your working definition? Like, what have you had to try to define consciousness? Because then we can discuss who has it and who doesn't. It's the life energy and, of the it, universe, dude. The life energy of the universe. Yeah. So you have there's dude your brain you have a brain right obviously, and there's just this the lights come on, and it gets filtered, dude. Oh my god, dude. It's like you know like a sea turtle when they come out they all they come out of the thing knowing what a hawk looks like. How, dude? How do they know that? Yeah. They know that. If you flash a chicken by them, they don't move. If you flash a hawk, they're like, holy shit. Yeah. How? You have you have like little things in your brain that are just ready to roll at all times. But then you have this, the lights come on, that's consciousness. That's awareness. And then you kind of paint it with like your, you know, built-in mechanisms. So and, like, you're talking about like instincts are different than consciousness? Yeah. Big time. Okay. Big time. So do you think animals have consciousness then on top of their instincts? Not like humans do, no. Yeah. Not like humans do. Sure. But, yeah, so, they, I mean, they haven't demonstrated that, no. Yeah. So animals are almost purely instinct. Humans have another level. Yeah, I remember I got bummed out in Catholic school for that. When they said dogs don't have souls. <laughs> That's some bullshit. <laughs> and dude. I was like, yeah, they do. Yeah. I know they do. They have and personalities. Like, and then they were like, we all, they all, they're just instinct. I was like, so are we. We're only instinct. We That's how be. I feel about us. We can be. That's how I feel about human beings. We're also just instinct. You're Freudian, dude. Perhaps I am. You're Freudian, dude. <laughs> I'm Jungian. Perhaps I am Freudian. My I'm mom Jungian. is looking tight. <laughs> <laughs> maybe I am Freudian. But yeah, that's my... Uh, uh, maybe there's a good answer for it. But yeah, I would fucking... You better fucking own define, Sam define Harris, consciousness, dude. Dude, dude nobody Figure can. that out and then I'll it's let just you talk aware, about it's just, it. It's awareness. Awareness. It's, it's awareness. But no, you said it was different than instinct. Yeah, it is. Awareness but is different than instinct. They have animals have awareness. They do. So they do. But have... they're not self-aware. Okay. And they can't like run simulations through. Their I head. agree with that. They're also there's people who don't have a mind's eye too. There's a there's a condition of people, some, <laughs> you know, some of my fellow brain disordered individuals who can't picture things in their mind. Really? I watched a thing on it. Yeah. They were watching a thing and they're like, the one dude was like 15 and his, uh, he was watching TV and they're like, now imagine, like picture this in your mind. And he was like, he went down to his dad. He's like, dad, can you like see things when you close your eyes? He's like, yeah, why? He's like, fuck. Oh no. Can't do it. He's probably lying. I, I was wondering yeah, that too. I was like, it sounds like he's fibbing to be somewhat of a, I was wondering about that. I was like, dude, is that a lie? But yeah, dude. Maybe yeah, I can't. I mean, Maybe dude, I can't either. It's awareness, dude. Now I'm thinking about it. I can't see anything in my head. Let me say, picture me. I can picture I can, you right I now. I can see you, dude. I can see you naked. Exactly. You must, you must have a brilliant mind's eye. Whew. I mean, we have our pineal glands are obviously calcified, but we, that's not our fault. Our white pineal glands? Yeah. If you, you need melanin to decalcify your pineal gland. Oh. So. That sounds like kind of what the people who own slaves used to say about like when they got into like craniology or whatever that is. What do they say? What is that? Is it craniology? Yeah, when yeah. They're, they're, they're like, they're like this brains. size of the skull is bigger on white people because we're smarter. They had a whole thing. Now with, they're doing that against the whites. I like it. Oh, yeah. It's pretty tight. But they, uh, they're, <laughs> yeah, they used to do a thing where they said they could like measure like a dude's forehead. They, when they were, the eugenicists were getting after it in a while. 
or for a while where they would like go to towns and be like, we're just like helping you guys out. And they'd be like taking measurements and be like criminal. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. They minority, minority reported. Or they would even like poor immigrants. Like yeah. Poor white immigrants that would come in. Yeah. They minority. Yeah, they would go in like, and go feeble You're going to commit a crime soon. Dude, social worker. That's what social workers used to be. They used to go to houses and be like, yeah, you're a fucking idiot. Feeble-minded. You're going to rape. <laughs> Your son's a rapist. I'm sorry. His head's too small. <laughs> but Soder, they would have been like, this guy's a genius. Oh, yeah. I like, like that thought process, too. Of like, as big, the bigger your head, you're smarter. I mean, it's true. It is true. <laughs> it has to be. It's not. Do you it, think people, there's people out there, there's a big dead brain? Yes. <laughs> yeah, definitely, face. dude. There's guys, that, look at Timmy from South Park. <laughs> you know? <laughs> I might need to set up. I might need to sit up, dude. You might need to sit up? I might. I had a wild night. I had back to back. I know, dude. I had it back to back crazy. wild Wait, what Chappelle would you do before nights. that? I went to Chappelle's. He has, right. I went to it two years ago. Yeah. He has a thing called like the Comedian's Ball. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Look, <laughs> I understand it's gay. But it's fun. It's pretty tight, yeah. I, I mean, and Chappelle at these parties, it's the craziest thing you've ever seen in your life. Yeah. He goes on, he just gets fucking wrecked and smokes. And most nice. of the time he stays on stage and everyone just dances around him. Tight. <laughs> just comics? And then occasionally he'll give a speech. <laughs> he gets drunk and then gives a speech. Wait, comics dance around him? Yeah, everybody's just dancing. It's Dionysus, dude. It's Dionysus. He might be Dionysus. He might be. Yeah, then me and Ari Shafir just stood against the bar like, what the fuck? fuck is going on here oh and then Pharaoh so that was Monch. that was a night Yo, before yeah this was two nights ago and then Pharaoh Monch came on stage yeah. and sang get the fuck up you know the and it was him dude he Chappelle came just on through stage. a concert didn't he yeah yeah well Chappelle went to the Foo Fighters and sang creep at Madison Square Garden <laughs> he's probably hammered he's having a great week he's, dude. dude he is so funny there's <laughs> the world like what he does and everyone yeah. everyone is just like yes yes and he's like alright I'm gonna give a speech for 45 minutes everyone's like sure. yes thank you so yeah, much please. it's yeah it's awesome so you were at the you were at the comedian's ball yes and to uh, what time I had, that one was actually not that bad I left I went home at like 2 I left at like 1 reasonable yeah, like that's 2 o'clock yeah. and that's yeah that's when it because those can go late. Yeah, yeah. Like those, I th- we everybody left because he left. He gotcha. left earlier this time. So and would then, you take the stage? I that was last night at the comedy cell. Oh sh- no, I'm saying when he leaves, you should take the stage. Oh, I thought party, about going party up around there. me. I thought about going up there and giving a speech oh, it was a myself. Test. It was just a test, dude. Fuck yeah, that was, that was a Excalibur, test, dude. dude. She came up and been like party around me, guys. Yeah, see what happens. <laughs> <laughs> Blake Griffin walked in. I almost knocked him out, dude. Really? Yeah. What's up with him? Close. I don't know. He gave me the eyes. What the fuck you looking at? Dude? Yeah, dude. <laughs> he's fucking lucky. <laughs> he's a, he's so cool looking. Should have pantsed him. I would have got fucking murdered. <laughs> I would have got. I would have been jumped so fast. Especially if he was wearing like jeans. <laughs> you put him like unpantsable material. <laughs> <You're just> like, <laughs> Compliments to the Milwaukee Bucks. <laughs> <laughs> if you attempted pants, <laughs> just got fell and your beat. ass came out. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. <laughs> you think I should try to pants Blake Griffin? <laughs> you should pre-pants yourself. Dude, he's Over so the pants. handsome. Is he really? Have you seen Blake Griffin? No, how tall is In he? In person, he's a fucking dreamboat, dude. He walked, he? he walked past me. I almost ate my baby. Really? Dude, I was so wet. <laughs> as soon as I saw Blake Griffin, I was sitting there. I was like, oh my. I was with Ari. And I was like, holy fuck, dude, that's Blake Griffin, dude. Holy shit. What did Ari say? He was like, yeah, who cares, dude? <laughs> There's so many famous people at this thing. And every person I saw, I was like, dude, holy shit, dude. It's fucking Anthony Anderson on the steps, dude. He's just on the stairs right there. Who's Anthony Anderson? Anthony Anderson. Anderson. <laughs> Anthony Anderson. He's, he's a he's the guy in Blackish. Okay. Yeah, I've talked a lot of shit. Oh, on Anthony that guy. Anderson. He's great. Did you really? I never heard of that. Well, I think I was just annoyed at Blackish the show. It was yeah, years ago. That was it. back in my that was back in my angry days. Cut now I'm my nice. Life into pieces. Yeah, I was. That was my last resort. I was like, Blackish is actually bad. <laughs> You know that show on WB seventeen? You know that fucking, fucking show on ABC now? It's actually gay, and I hate it. <laughs> and so I watch it. <laughs> so you're uh, there. You see Blake Griffith. You Blake munch, Griffin. Baby. I came up to him. I almost pushed him down, dude. Imagine that. If I would have even tried to push him, how how much he wouldn't have moved. <laughs> <laughs> 
And then, yeah, Pharaoh Monch. This was my favorite part. And I, is it Monch? Monk? Pharaoh Monk? Whatever. Mon- I think it's Monchy. But he, came, this was, this is tough. And I'm not, this is, it was just bad timing. So he came on. He sang, he opened with that. He yeah. sang that first. And the whole place was like, this is crazy. Song's old as hell. And then he goes, I got a new song. <gasps> what was it? It's just, uh, you know, no one knew what the fuck it was. So it kind of, he kind of bombed a little on that yeah, one. Yeah, it happens. It was tough. He opened with one of the better songs. Yeah, it's hit. It was a sick song. You do, you, you do the, yeah. yeah. Although that's a sick open though. Yeah, it was cool. Pretty tight. So he did a, he did a show and it was, or the, the second song was kind of like, it was tepid. Yeah, song was pretty, tepid response. Was pretty bad. What was he rapping about? <laughs> I don't know. I, I didn't listen. Dude should be forced. It should be like a driver's license, dude. Like there should be a, a governor on the time of when you yeah. can. Cause that's for when dudes are forty and rapping, especially again, especially white rappers. Man. Although I think J Cole was forty. He's kind of nice. He's kind of that last it. album was pretty. Sick. Yeah, but all of his raps are righteous. True. All he raps about. If you're gonna rap about being righteous as hell, yes, then continue on. But if you're gonna be a goddamn yes. fool, if you're gonna be a goddamn fool. Dude, Pharaoh Monch is not a fool. He's not a fool. He's not a fool. What the hell is going on here? He's not a fool. Pharaoh Monch. Pharaoh Monch is not a fool. I'm saying he's always. He's you know. He's been. He's been Get a lyricist from up. day one, dude. Simon says, get the fuck up. Yeah. No, Pharaoh Monch is on the like, rock. He was on Raucous. <laughs> He's been a lyricist since He's raucous one. as hell. I'm talking about T.I.'s dumbass, dude. T.I.? You fucking don't like T.I.? Goddamn fool, dude. <laughs> T.I.'s a fucking fool, dude. Why? He's not like J. Cole. J. Cole, I listen to J. Cole. I can only listen to righteous <laughs> rap now. J. Cole's righteous as hell, dude. There you go. J. Cole's awake, righteous though. as hell. T.I. just goes on there. <laughs> So tired. Are you still sleepy? Uh, no. So you at the ball. You leave the ball. That's a fucking thing. What happened? Oh, you gotta tell you. Yeah, you know who am I talking to? <laughs> I know so, my way around. So you're at the, the mic. you're at the ball. You leave the ball. I was at the comedian's ball. Get the motherfucking ball, uh, dude. Comedian's ball. <laughs> and then I left. Yeah. Went home. Went to sleep. And then I had a show last night at the cellar. Yeah. Chris Rock comes on first. He dropped it. It was crazy. He leaves. I go on. And then while I'm up there, I was like 10 minutes into my set. You do 15. And they started like flashing the light on me like hard. And I was like, what the fuck is this? The hell is this? Yeah. Like I was like, I was doing well. Yeah. Like this is, I'm just doing my time. What the, what the hell? Yeah. They're trying to act like you're stage hogging. Yeah. Yeah. That's bullshit. They had no idea. Yeah. And then uh, I was like, what the fuck was that about? Because I got off and uh, they were like, oh, Chappelle's here. Fair enough. <laughs> Fair enough. Dude, that's and, uh, fucking Yeah, sexual. it was crazy. So he came on. He, he did came on. This is last night. Yeah. So last night. Last night. Was they flashed a, you. Did you a, still do it? It was a movie. Fucking movie. Bro. Yeah, it, that, this was cool. All right. This was cool. I'm bragging. I'm going to brag a brag. little. This was cool. So he was in there. He, he watched my set. Nice. So then when I got off, he was going on. And that's what he talked about for like the first five minutes. He's like, God bless Shane Gillis. And like started talking about Because he talks about cancel stuff a lot. Yeah, yeah. So he was talking about that a lot, which was very funny. Nice. And uh, yeah, it was sick. That's awesome. It was sick. Were you then, just chilling in the audience? I was in the like, back like, <sighs> I was with Norm- Norman was sitting next to me. He was like, hey, this is crazy. She got close that? to girls. I was literally. I was she like, got close to girls, dude. Midnight. Well, I thought it was nice. And then later he was like, Shane Gillis is probably across the street right now with a gun in his mouth. <laughs> I was like, holy shit. What the fuck? <laughs> it was funny. It was funny. And then they, he brought me up with him <laughs> on stage. I mean, it was Che. che. There was a, but look, guys. Yeah. This it's, is the big business stuff. I'm it's talking. just big biz, dude. I can't talk about this. I'm laying back down, dude. I'm Why? Fucking gay. Dude, you're on stage. I was on stage with, with Chappelle. Chappelle. So you're on stage. You guys are on stage <laughs> together. Disaster. Why are you so worried about it? Why am I worried about what? <laughs> Just talk. You're talking. Your life is a fucking movie, dude. My life is gay, dude. Stop trying to rewind the movie, dude. Just tell I'm, a movie. It was fun. It's fun as fuck. It was fun, okay? It was fun. You had fun with Dave Chappelle on stage. Yes. And you basically just like crushed yeah, it was fun, dude. Even, I didn't crush. I, I kind of got like, nah, never mind. I dude, I would have fucking completely been like, uh, I would have went into total depersonalization. Yeah, yeah, just that was. It, just, it would have seemed fake of just like, yeah, huh? Yeah, what guys? <laughs> yeah, I couldn't. It was it was wild. It was a movie, bro. So you guys were you guys were just doing you know a little back and forth. Yeah, me and him. 
Dude. Me and Chappelle are boys. I'm telling you, probably be on his podcast. Me and him are good friends. You, Talib Kweli. I got I got a bone to pick with Talib Kweli, dude. Most Me and Most Def. Most Def. Go on the podcast called <laughs> Most Def. Most Def. <laughs> most, how are you? <laughs> Should have that most. More like Lee's Def, am I right? <laughs> <laughs> got him. Why do you have beef with Talib Kweli? Because they, they have beef with me. Talib Kweli talked shit on me a Chappelle bunch of times. Chappelle's smoothing it over, dude. <sighs> he better. Tell Talib. him Common's better than him, dude. Better than Talib? He's a better pussy rapper. Who, what do you mean? Guys that rap about getting pussy? No, they're like, eh. I think Talib Kweli is not a pussy rapper. Really? Yeah. I don't know. I don't think he really raps about like murdering people, though. I think he's, he's good. He's like, he is. He's, really he's, good. Like, he's like a top-notch lyricist. I'm, a, but I'm, we're top, I'm we're more of a Chief lyric- Keith. I'm more of a Chief Keith True. guy. I'm more like, how many bodies you have? Yeah. Where are you trapping? Except for J. Cole. He's righteous as hell. J. J. Cole righteous. never trapped, dude. He talks about he would trap him when he was a young man. But they, he gave it up very quickly. He gave it up, yeah. It wasn't for him. J. Cole's the best. Yeah, listen to his whole album. Yeah. No, I, dude, I have no problem with Sleep Chloe. But <laughs> no, I know. I'm not. <laughs> but it is funny to put him against Common because they were kind of like, you were beautiful. Sleep yeah, Chloe yeah, has yeah. more of an edge to him. Conscious, conscious rappers. Yes, that's what it's called. Yes. Conscious. Which is good because that's to be fair to be to be honest I I can't listen to like if I put on regular rap now I I, I just yeah. I try to get into it while I'm working out and I'm like I feel like such a dunce yeah it's like I had five bitches and I fucked and it's like and I sound I sound super old right now but I'm like jump roping just like I can't I can't yeah you gotta put on that old just some rock 20, and yeah just roll. some twenty year old being like I'm the best and it's like no, you're not dude no you're not no, you're not knock it off no you're not get a job you jerk. We're fucking off, you jerk. They're, some of those guys are being jerks. What are they doing? Just fucking talking about crime and stuff. True. That just, is true. Just, just, just some old-fashioned rock and roll is what we want. That's what I'm saying, dude. They should all cross over to fucking emo rap. They're, they or are. Or just righteous J. Cole rap. You know, I don't want to tell anyone what to do, but... Kendrick Lamar is righteous. He's righteous as hell. You would like Kendrick Lamar I like that. He is yeah, righteous as he's hell. He's righteous. I can't tell if his one song is about, like, he likes alcohol or hates it. Swimming Pull pools. Up, drank. Yeah. I get the sense that he's kind of like being like, don't drink it's so much. Bad. Yeah. Yeah. But I've definitely. definitely watched people listen to it being like, woo. <laughs> yeah, definitely. So but that's kind of how it was with like, uh, fucking, uh, like born in the USA. Yeah. Like that's like an anti American song that everyone's know. like, we're the best. True. You know? Also, what happened to the boss, dude? What did he do? I was talking to Spud. I, where did, what happened to him where he's now like a mouthpiece of the fucking. The Dems? Yeah. How do you go from being like this country's inherent, inherent, you know, inherently fucking yeah. fascist and like, oh, you, you got it, Democratic Party? What do you want me to do? Yeah, I think they got him, bro. You think they comped him? I mean, On what? He's a rock and roll star in the seventies, bro. What do you think? Yeah, true. What do you a think, statutory. dude? Statutory. <laughs> a little uh, statutory rapist. <laughs> oh, the greatest statutory rapist. Well, yeah. Why do you think he would? Uh, that's also too funny. Why? Do you, <laughs> why? Do you, why would he do that? Why would he statutory rape? No, I know I hear. I'll give you a couple. Led Zeppelin reasons. did it, obviously. I'll give you a couple reasons. Yeah, Led Zeppelin did it. <laughs> he was. I mean, his all his songs are about like not all of them, but a lot of them are about like is your daddy home? Did yeah. he go away and leave you? Yeah. Now he's just being like, I agree, Brock. <laughs> all the vaccines are good. Yes. Yeah, man. The new Delta variant is coming out. The variant or whatever. Delta. We got a new variant. Ten coming? times, dude. It's ten times deadlier, dude. What the fuck? I was reading the news. It was like this variant will find you. It's like what the fuck? Really? Yeah. I gotta watch out. The Delta, dude. What was sick to go? Ten times, dude. It's ten times worse. To get into the Chappelle party, you had to have a Vax card or get tested. There was a rapid testing thing. Yeah. Then you had to wait ten minutes in there. It's just me and black dudes waiting. Yeah. We're the only ones keeping it real, not getting get the Vax. Vax. Yeah. Dude, apparently only 45% of the country has been vaccinated. Really? Yeah. Cities are hitting 70%. The rest, I, I, dude, I'm telling you, I'm reading these articles and it's like, they're like, we uh, we were down in town in Springfield, Missouri, and none of them got there. vaccinated. They're saying only mm-hmm. 2% of the people who got the uh, Delta variant were vaccinated. So they're like, we're pretty sure the vaccine is working against the Delta oh, variant. Oh, nice. Well, I'm going to get it because I don't want the Delta variant. Dude. They got me on this one. Ten times more. You, it's so clear that they're not getting their numbers. What do you mean? Who they're not getting their numbers? The fucking what, for Pfizer, the Moderna, all these companies. They're selling oh, a fucking vaccine. Oh yeah, true. They they're like we're giving two million doses to other countries. It's like oh, so you mean they took tax money and bought two billion doses and yeah. fucking dude, this is a money grab. One percent of people, dude. 
have well, bitten the dust who get COVID. 1% of people fucking die from it. 10 times worse. It's like, uh, yeah. Yeah, that would be bad. It's not. It, if 10% of the people died, they got it. It's just not happening. I don't. I don't believe it either. It's just not fucking happening. I'm like, I'm in Missouri, dude. You gotta show me. That's what that, dude. That's what happened in Springfield or Springfield, wherever it was. Missouri. Yeah, they went down there and uh, there's a bunch of Springfields. They were saying like, yeah, these rural people weren't vaccinated and they're really paying the price. It's yeah. like, all right, pick a town nobody fucking goes to or can verify. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And you're telling me the whole town's in tomorrow. I was. I Delta literally Street? was in Springfield like this month. Were you? <laughs> yeah. How was it? Shitty. People were fucking shitty town. Just wheelbarrows in the streets. There's some the fucking. Dead. Well, no, it, yeah, yeah, it was. There are bodies everywhere. <laughs> That's what you do. If somebody would die, you just leave them on your front porch at night, and they go around and collect them. Yeah, it's like the Walking Dead. It's burning. Yeah. Yes. But yeah, yes. man, I was reading that. It's like here it come. They've been doing that the whole time. Like, oh, there's a European strain that's coming. It's like this probably exists, but like, it will find you. It's like who fucking passed that copy? Yeah. Like, here's a deadly disease, and it's going to get you. It's like, dudes, chill the yeah, fuck out. Yeah, knock it off, would you? We're Tony, man. to have fun again. It's fucked up. We're having fun. They hate it. Yeah. They're like, no, you guys aren't allowed to have fun until we hit 70%. Did you know it didn't come from a lab yet? Huh? You know it didn't, did not come Are from a lab? Are they saying that it didn't come from a lab? We're looking into it. True. Well, they're still looking into it. Yeah. Did you see fucking uh, John Stewart on Colbert? Yeah, it was great. Hilarious. That was great. Hilarious, dude. Johnny Stewart, dude. Colbert, dude. Again, how? Oh, what how, happened to the man? He, I used to love that guy. He was great. How was that? And again, like, dude, I, I used to love when he did his show on Comedy Central. But then his whole thing, like, we'll see how much of this gets. Yeah, cut. I was it's like, like, dude, Colbert's way better than John Stewart. That's I, what I used to. Really, think. I like Stewart. I always like Stewart. Oh, no, well, true, end, true, true. Towards the end, when I was coming, when I was sowed my oats and was becoming a man, so I was becoming more conservative. Yeah. You know, well, he was, was parody. Like, this guy's fucking gay. He was he was parody, and then the parody. I was like, yeah, that's funny. It was funny. It was funny. It was. But he his the thing he was joking now, about. Now I realize I was wrong, dude. I'm 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 trying to become the Zen master. You can't, you dude. You're uh, where pretty it's fucking basically, zen, bro. Yeah, I'm pretty chill. You are pretty zen. When something happens, I'm usually like, we'll see. Yes, that's all it is. Like something good happens, everyone's like, "Oh, this is amazing." It's like we'll see. Yeah, hold on. <laughs> we'll see. Hold I've on. seen this go bad. <laughs> and then they're like, something terrible is happening. I'm like, we'll see. Hold on. Yeah, we'll find out. Yeah, dude. We'll cross that bridge when we get there, bro. Dude. And uh, that has has something to do with Colbert. Well, here's the thing. No, I'll tell you what it has to do with him. No, I don't know. Yeah. But the no, uh, I was saying I'm I'm at the time I was like Colbert's the best. We'll see. Yeah, give it some time. Maybe he will end up being a mouthpiece for a, a political party. Maybe, and it's like whatever for that. But it, I'm thinking more of it. You know, I, I'm not. I don't want even. He does, he's not calling the shots. This is the thing he's doing. It's like yeah. whatever. You're getting millions of dollars. Knock yourself out. It's the the brand of humor. And I was watching like the jokes. Like Stewart's yes. thing was funny as fuck. Colbert's thing was like, we'll see how much of this doesn't get edited out by my corporate overlords. <laughs> and it's yeah, like, yeah. Uh, all it's right, like, aren't you? That's fucking weird. They're not gonna edit your stuff, dude. Well, it's also like, it's when you, you know I might be reading oh, into yeah, this too the, much, uh, the but Stuart it's like. Thing. Oh yeah, yeah. It's like, yeah, yeah, yeah. ah, dude, why would you? Why would that be edited out? And why are you like? It's weird, man. It's it's very bizarre mm. to see that and go like, that's weird. Yeah, you can't like flash, can't Josh. Because, dude. They were, they, I mean, again, people talked about this a hundred times, but it's like people were getting their shit like taken down off the internet. And now they're being like, well, actually, those guys were might have been right. Yeah, it's like you know True. whatever, but that's fucking pretty nuts. Yeah. And I was kind of bummed that it was the lab. Really? I liked the guy munching a bat. Yeah, I mean. I, I liked that story. That was a fun story. I suspected lab. I mean, yeah. Yeah, true. Pretty clearly. It was. What was it like? I thought that got debunked. I thought the guy eating a bat got debunked like it early. Did. It did. And then we were like, and okay, so pangolin. it must be the lab. And they're like, no. Yeah, I called pangolin. I was like, no, it wasn't bad. It was a pangolin. And then they were like, <laughs> like okay. And then, it sucks yeah. to be the guy who owned the wet market. They're like, what the fuck, dude? They're tearing down my business. Yeah, they're, it's they're... like when Chipotle had that E. coli scare. Yeah. Sure, that sucks. Nah, the that wet market is probably got, popping, wet market, dude. dude. It's probably like when people OD on heroin and everyone floods the block. People are like, yo. Yeah, you guys got the fucking wildest yeah, market, the, dude. Got the motherfucking Zubats. They're probably on the corner, dude. Fucking. <laughs> <laughs> WMDs, bro. Yes. Yes. But yeah, man, that was, that was freaking me out. I was watching that just being like, what the fuck? Dude, yeah. Get into it. It is strange, dude. It, it, it's it seems it's not as good. if it's not it's not a good thing. But that's okay. We're having fun. I mean, Biden's going to free us from this, dude. Biden's loose, dude. He's Biden's going to free us from the corporate, dude. He's a freedom. Did you see him fucking own Putin the other day? 
Yeah, I heard about he that. He fucking owned him, dude. He, Putin looked away and Biden stared him dead in his fucking dude. eyes. He was fucking terrified, dude. He was terrified. Oh, God. Dude, Putin's a fucking pussy. I listened, I listened to several conservative like shows and podcasts yeah. lately. They suck so bad. What were they talking about? Uh, one of the I listened to some Ben Shapiro for a while. Did you? It's brutal. Yeah, it's tough. It's tough to listen to, especially because he always goes into ads, like in the middle of things. He's like, what's he selling? And the Democrats, the cities run by the Democrats, are falling apart. They're terrible. Yeah. They're crime ridden. Why don't we just make crime illegal? How about that? Speaking of, do you guys love mattresses? <laughs> <laughs> and then he does. It's crazy. <laughs> and then I listened to. Some louder with Crowder for a little. Yeah. Brutes. Did you change your mind? <laughs> Brutal. Change your mind? So he wears a holster. He wears gun holsters. Does he have a guns on yes. him? Yes. He keeps the thing on him during it. And it's like a Laura Croft like strap holsters. Ah. Uh, it's weird, dude. And like a bandolier? Does he have like yeah. bullets? I try to listen. Now, the only good one is Nick DiPaolo's fucking <laughs> YouTube, nice. dude. It's wild. <laughs> What is, it does stink when you watch you it. You got to watch that. You got to keep in mind. You got you do have to watch the conservative stuff too. Yeah. Just to be re- reminded how gay being conservative is. Yeah. I mean, anything where you're just kind of like, here's my talk. I know exactly what I'm about to say. Yeah. An issue falls and you're like, well, I know what I'm going to do on this. Those dudes get paid though. Hell yeah. To just be like, yeah, I'll fucking. Take, yeah. I'll take one side of an argument for the rest of my life. <laughs> yeah. You get paid. People like are genuinely, that. people are generally kind of, you know unthinking and dumb so yeah i'm pretty fucking unthinking and dumb right now to be truthful with you yeah but it's I, unthinking I, I and dumb and then crazy that's all that's all people are either crazy or you're just totally unthinking and dumb yeah what do you think you and me are crazy <laughs> crazy yeah next you're level. crazy bro next level i saw alex jones on schultz's podcast that was pretty wild how was it he wilded out now didn't alex he get jones hammered hilarious he got hammered didn't he yes yeah fucking he's roll. funny yeah Anyway, I got nothing else. Uh, (laughs) Going through a breakup, people are in the hospital. (laughs) I'm laying down, dude. He had a bad call, and I have fucking epilepsy, so. Yeah. But yeah, I'm I'm excited, dude. I went to the doctor. Um, It's pretty tight. I got to go there and chill at the doctor. I always get so, dude, I get, doctor, uh, my doctor is uh, an Asian man. He's away. He's He's in a third world country right now doing, like, outreach shit. Um, but he told me I was getting a little hefty back at the what? start of the thing, back way before, before COVID yeah. I was, I was hitting, you know, I was up in the, I was peaking at 200. Yeah. He, I was, I yeah. was having the art, like the Mark McGuire argument. He's like, your BMI is yes. a little high. I'm like, dude, Mark McGuire's is high and he's jacked. He's dude. the man. He was just like, you gotta drop 10, bro. What? So I, was, yeah, I can't go to the doctors. He, well, he wasn't. I get, I'm going to get in there. They're going to be like, what the fuck? You think that dude, it's They're not going to be case. ticked, bro. Dude, there's people who have to fucking ride true. scooters. True, true. You're totally fine. You're I mean, going to get in there. The guy's going to be like, you're, what the fuck? You're, you're, you're a specimen. Like, yeah, dude, you've been lifting. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, dude. So I go there and uh, so I, I just was getting my good boy points. I, I get on the scale. I hop off. As soon as the doctor the lady comes in, I'm just kind of like, she's talking. I'm like, oh yeah, I also lost 10 pounds, doctor. Uh, whatever. I forget the guy's name. Yeah. I was like, he told me to lose. And she's like, okay. And I was like, it's like your blood pressure is good. I was like, thank you. Oh, you're I a love- good boy. I'm a very good boy. Fuck. But then I start telling him about the brain stuff. And then she's like, yeah, man, I'm looking into it. So we're talking. And uh, and she was like, well, have do you have this? Do you have that? Um, she's like, do you ever have any? She had something about it. She's like, does it happen with anything else? And I was like, well, I just had like five grams of mushrooms and no. But then I microdosed the other day. And I noticed like I, like I got one of them. But I was also kind of stressed out. And oh, my God. Like, okay. And then. She's like, any kind of dream disturbances? Have you ever had any kind they of like... Did they try to prescribe you to any pills? No. They knew. They asked me if I got the shot. They're like, did you get a thing? No, I, I mean, like, for like anxiety? No. They know. They they could tell. They could smell from my That you would bro. not. Then I'm, I'm just living on the edge, bro. You should get into antidepressants. I don't like them. I've taken... Oh, hell no. Yeah, you should start taking them. Never. I'm not depressed. Sure. I'm manic. Sure. I'm manic. I'm purely manic. But the, I believe it, it. sometimes I get fucking like, sometimes get down sad, dumps, dude. Dude. Like, I don't you don't you seem to keep it pretty you don't seem to be too down in the dumps. I don't see I don't too, I really am. I don't see you too sad. No, I'm really down in the dumps. Um and usually if I am it's because I haven't slept very well. Yeah. But the lady, so she's asking me all these questions. I'm just like, oh blah, blah. finally she's like, Have you ever had any like she said something like have ever happened at nighttime or any like weird sleep disturbances? And I was like, No, nah, I whatever she was describing, I was like, No, nah, that that only happened like a couple of years ago. Um, but She's like, were there any like extenuating circumstances? I was like, well, some guy pulled a gun on me in an apartment. She was like, 
what the fuck? <laughs> she was like, how how often, how many times have you hit your head? And I was like, I don't know, a lot. She's like, have you ever like, yeah, you know, conscious? I was like, yeah. She was literally just writing retarded down yeah. on a piece She's of like, paper. She's like, you ever got hit in the head so hard that it affected your vision? I was like, I saw like purple and green for like 15 seconds one time. And she was like, yeah. what? Yeah, you, you're dinged up, dude. My head's fucked up. And you're I got fucking... rocked in that car accident. Yeah. That lady fucking, a kick-ass lady blew a stop sign and nailed me. <laughs> Sorry, bro. Don't worry <laughs> Sorry, about it. So yeah, my head's dinged up. It's probably so, nothing. I have a dinged up head and I think, I'm telling you, I think if I, something about, you know how weed makes people bug out? Yeah. It, Definitely. It ramps my brain up to the point where I think because of my fucking TBI oh, now. Oh, thank God I didn't smoke weed last night. Why? Somebody what? offered me some weed right before Che <gasps> was like, come up here. I would have died. Yeah. I was high on pot with Che and Chappelle. They were like, I was up there saying white guys are the best. On pot? You were there, on pot. As soon as I made that joke, I'd be like, I'm so sorry. I'm just kidding. I'm a fucking idiot, yeah, dude. I'm dude. A I mean, that's very fortunate you didn't do that. Yeah. That would have been, if you were stoned, I was like. Dude, I was just Bud Lights, dude. I was in the pocket. Dude. I was up there having fun, dude. Fuck. Yes. Yes. Thank God, dude. That was so sick. 16 Bud Lights and just popping up there. That was so sick. I mean, dude, that's awesome. Yeah, that was cool. That fucking rules. That was a cool night. Damn, uh, dude. But yeah, and just like the Zen Master, dude, a new day and a new tragedy has it's befallen me. It's fucking nuts. That's dude. how life works. That is how life works, man. Something really cool happens yesterday. Get ready. Dude, Today's going to stink. I had my... It's so funny, dude. I had my best day. My best day ever was... Uh, <laughs> I was like... of your child? Well, no, I'm saying like I had like a really great day. Yeah. That was my probably the best day ever, but I had like... The day before I got the bad fucking news about my brain, yeah, I was sitting there and there's these little kids in my neighborhood that really bad. They they fuck around. They were like smashing bottles outside of our house Funny. the other day. Yeah, pretty kind of rules. Uh, Brittany calls them baby kids, but they, <laughs> they, they they just a pack of kids. They run around. Yeah, and uh, they came a gang. out. Huh? They're a gang. They're a gang. Yeah, you say they're a gang. <laughs> so they they run. They're like they're like ten, and they run around. They just like fuck around with shit and do stuff. Like they'll like carry rocks every now and again. Yeah. They'll always the when they're when it's just the boy. There's boys and girls. When it's just the boys, they always try to try me. Really, oh, dude. Every single I'm like, while well, I was walking home the other night, and they're just like, "You a bitch." Turn around, I was like, "What?" And they're like, "No, no, I'm playing. I'm playing." They, every time you turn around, like, "What the fuck you say?" They're like, "No, no, no, I'm playing. Uh, I'm playing." You better watch out. They're gonna get a little older. I haven't thought about that the <laughs> other day. You're going to get knocked out. Nah, I'm the goat, dude. They, they know I'm a goat. <laughs> They're going to knock you out. No, I'm a goat, dude. It's going to go from bitch to like actually like, yo, bitch. Nah, I'm going to fuck them. I'll fuck them up. You're going to walk faster? Never, dude. They're pipsqueaks, dude. <laughs> For now. I'll thrash them. You can't thrash them. They're fucking 10. I a got pack? I know they're 10. I'm saying in time. Even 14. I would thrash them. Pack of 14. Dude, I got enough. Dude, I, I could die any day. I could have a fucking acorn in my brain, dude. I don't know. I'll True. fight those kids to death. They have no idea, dude. They're, they're looking at a dude with one foot in the beyond. <laughs> I'll fucking fight you guys. I mean, now I'm cheering for them to actually whoop your ass one day. Never, dude. I mean, you can follow the story. They might. But there's there's also the girl <laughs> oh, yeah, pack. The girl pack. Where, no, I'm saying you could, you could follow it in a couple of years and you'll see. Yeah. But there's the uh, there's the I'll girl pack. The girl I'll pack was smashing news. bottles outside the house. The girl pack was smashing bottles. So I told Brittany on them. I saw it when Brittany there's girl smashing bottles outside. Yeah. <laughs> so I'm like I'm not fucking. No out. hell no. So Brittany goes out. It's like hey you know she was actually really nice. You guys can't be doing this. Blah blah blah. Starts talking to him, and then uh like the, a day after that, and I'm like sitting there like you know sometimes you're like damn this is so fucked up. These kids are like because like, I'll see them like, right, like doing wheelies at midnight down the street by themselves. I'm always like I get so bummed out for them. Yeah. Like, damn these kids have nobody. So then I'm sitting there. You need to be their paw. I don't know. Maybe. I'll, I'll see. But I'm coming. I'm sitting there the other day. The girls come up and knock up for Brittany. And they're, you know, they knock on the door and they're like, I guess they knew it was her birthday. And like, tell them it's Brittany. You said happy birthday. And I was like, it's so nice. You touched these girls and made them. And I, dude, I almost fucking cried. Not touch. Come on, dude. Don't be fucking sick, dude. Don't be sick. I'm a sicko, bro. <laughs> I was sitting there. It was like a really nice day. Everything was going well. I'm like, man, that's so nice. You know, like these little girls are. Yes. You know, it, they're not just smashing bottles. I was just getting I'm like really sentimental. Like, yeah, I, bottle kids. I had a bunch of other good stuff going on. I'm like, what a great day. The next day, I was like, I was like, <laughs> like I have a fucking tumor Googled in it my and I was brain. like, shit. Yeah. Well, the same thing, dude. It's just like, whatever. Bro. Yep. And we'll see. Sometimes the tragedies aren't as bad as they seem. I mean, it's the ultimate tragedy if the doctor's orders are like, bro, you can't stop. You gotta stop smoking weed. In but. fact, I have to take this phone call because take it. We're done. I could have now. a very severe family emergency. <laughs> take it. Take it. Take it. <laughs> Yeah. All right, great. Thanks for listening to our podcast. I'll be sitting up 
during the Patreon episode. Oh, yeah. So look out, look out for that. 